We pull up in them trucks, catch a wet like it, then you ride a luck. When that 30 bucks, you just better duck, cause I'm gonna dump it, put you in the trunk. And I guarantee that when you see a op in that car stop, that it's hard drop. Before Polo G would drop his album, The Goat, featuring tracks with NLE Choppa, Stun a Little Baby, Juice World, and more, with the album peaking in the number two spot on Billboard. It's Polo G! <laughs> okay. Turn around, let me see the back. Let me see the back. <laughs> Before Polo G would clock in 2 million subscribers on YouTube and over 4 million followers on Instagram at the time of this recording. Pull away some goblins, man. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, you know, I'm bunny. Before Polo G would sign to Columbia Records and his track Pop Out would crack the Billboard Hot 100, peaking at the number 11 spot, and the track would clock in almost 200 million views on YouTube at the time of this recording. Polo G made his first rap song when he was around 8 or 9 years old, but he didn't make it to the studio until he was 17. He then recorded his first rap video around the same time as his high school prom. Now once he set his sights on making it, well the kid he put out tons of content, including dropping as many as 11 music videos in one day via YouTube, which was back in May of 2018. Now within a year, he had become a professional recording artist, ascending the charts, and had his sights set on becoming the best in the game. Now his quick come up, it hasn't come without its downsides. Now growing up in Chicago, he lost a number of friends, and he became familiar with news of tragedy and death. He also spent some time behind bars. Now on top of all this, well he almost lost his own life when he woke up in a hospital after combining alcohol and prescription pills during one night of partying. We'll have more on that in just a minute. Everything went black like some shit out of a movie. When I woke up, I was in a hospital and my pops was just explaining to me like, yeah man, they said you would have been here any second or a minute later, you probably wouldn't have made it, you, you probably could have passed. And they was just walking me through everything that happened that day because I really didn't remember at all. What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael McCredden back at it again with an updated video on Polo G. Now other recent drops on this channel, they include Stay Solid Rocky, 24 Golden, and Lil Loaded. Now these updates, they seem to be going over well and we do our work to find more info, more pics, and more clips that just weren't available during our first swing at bat. Now as always, be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. You can also hit me up in the DMs via text or on our new Instagram page at Before They Are Famous. How about we do a video on Callboy? You let me know. All right, now let's get into this video. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Polo G was born Taurus Termani Bartlett on January 6, 1999, and he grew up in the Cambrini Green Projects. That is until he was 12 and his family, they relocated to the north side of Chicago in the Marshall Field Garden Apartments. Online, these buildings, they're listed as a large non-governmental subsidized housing project in the Old Town neighborhood of Chicago, a place that he plans to own in the future. And you actually looked up the price of mm. uh, one of the project buildings, I guess Marshall, Marshall Field Gardens? Yeah. How much was it? They say it was estimated at like about three mil. Not a bad investment if he get his hands on it, but it's still a pretty big goal. Now during construction back in 1992, well these apartments, they were actually considered the largest moderate income housing development in the entire US, with 628 units and 10 buildings across five acres. Now he has fond memories growing up here telling XXL, Everybody know everybody, everybody showed love to everybody, the hood is the hood. Now Polo, he grew up with his parents who are still together and he has at least three siblings. He has two younger and one older. Now in his video for finer things, well his siblings, they actually appear in the video as he raps. Leah and Lil Baby, my younger siblings, I really love them so I treat them like my children. Leilani, she told me to stack them bands to the ceiling. He credits his mother Stacey and Mac for keeping him off the streets, setting a strict curfew that he had to follow. Now growing up where he did, well gang life, it was around him, but moms, well she knew how to keep him out of trouble as he chased his original dreams of playing basketball. Now he was a smart kid soaking up a lot of wisdom from his grandmother and getting good grades at Innovation High School. Now he actually got accepted to Lincoln University, an HBCU in Pennsylvania, but by then he was already making moves as an artist. More on that in just a minute. Growing up polo, it was his favorite brand to wear and he would always ask his mom to buy him the latest Ralph gear. Now the G in his name, it represents Gucci in honor of one of his friends, T Gucci, who unfortunately passed away at a young age. Now polo, he says that witnessing death it really affected him heavily. Now at first, his name was actually Polo Gucci, AKA Mr. Do Too Much, but uh, he was clearly doing a little too much with that name, so he shortened it to Polo G. Now Polo, he grew up listening to Chicago artists like Dirk, Herbo, and of course, Chief Keith. 
but his writing style it was also heavily influenced by Lil Wayne because of his intricate wordplay and metaphors. But interestingly enough, it was actually Polo's sister who first inspired him to rap. A whole notebook full of songs written and then it made me like, oh, I gotta get on my stuff music-wise too, even before I was passionate about it. Now growing up, music was in his family with both his mom and his sister being singers. Now even when he was just a nine-year-old kid, Will Polo, he knew how to rap. And at first it was just a hobby, but everyone on the block knew him as the rapping kid. He even started writing full songs with hooks. Now at the time, it was just a way for him to express himself. And we actually found a video from him back when he was 14 years old, which is like the oldest footage of him rapping that you can find on the web. Can't feel cause we doing drills. Little murder creeping with the steel. He ain't scared to show your way how I feel. Get your way pop like a pill, let him feel that ruga. But it became his full blown passion later on. Now he would rap on Facebook Live for his friends, and people, they started to tell him that he was really good. I wake up, look in the mirror, then I drop the rakes. Might get 7 4 11 tatted on my face. If you throw up the forks, I won't hesitate to let shots out the 8. Boogie in the 80s, trying to get them breaks out the way. Now I found an old Facebook post of his from 2016 where he stated, I love this rap with a passion. This is the only way I know how to express myself, and the only thing I feel like I could do right. I thank God for this gift. I appreciate the out of it. Now for some time he was actually going by the name Polo Cap a lot, even having his own merch under that name. Now one of his biggest videos on Facebook at the time was one of him rapping like other Chicago rappers, which included Lil Bibby and G Herbo using a Snapchat filter. Now that video got over 300,000 views on Facebook at the time with over 7,000 shares. But as he got older, well things they started to hit him and he started to realize how difficult circumstances actually were. Now eventually he realized that he wanted a certain lifestyle that his mother just couldn't provide for him on her own. So he had to figure out his own way to get it. He got caught up in his surroundings by the time he was 17. Some nights he was staying out all night and showing up back home as the sun was coming up. Now he was locked up in Chicago's Cook County Jail and he was forced to think about his life and what he wanted to do with it. And that's when he heard that the NBA All-Star Weekend would be in Chicago for the year 2020. Now he swore up and down to the other inmates that he, in his own words, he would be a rich man by the time the NBA All-Star Weekend would hit the city of Chicago. That was gonna be in February, 2020. Now Polo realized that in order to change his life, well he needed to change his lifestyle after the OG surrounding him, well they gave him the advice to get out of the streets and really focus on his music. Now he wrote his song, Finer Things, while he was in his cell, but he waited a while before releasing it. Now he was rapping about wanting more for himself and envisioned a new life. Like he says on his track, Growing Pains, couldn't afford a lawyer in the county fighting felonies, but since I came home, it's like God keep on blessing me. And it's true, when he got out, he started to take music more seriously, and things, they started to turn around. Now he was going to the studio and recorded his first real song. The song was called ODA and Polo, well he called it a thrilling experience to step into the booth for the first time. In fact, he told rollingout.com. I was scared and anxious when I stepped into the booth. The more comfortable I got, the more I enjoyed it. But it was when he shot his first music video that he started to take everything a lot more seriously. Now this video was a remix to Juvenile's Back That Ass Up. And it didn't really gain much buzz for Polo at the time, but hey, it was a start. No, it was actually a freestyle called Check Me Out with the accompanying video that included his prom date and their prom attire. And this is what really started to get him some attention. Locally, people started to realize that Polo was someone to keep an eye out for, but things, they moved quick and fast after that. First was the song Welcome Back, that one got a bit of a buzz, but then there was his G Herbo remix that was never cared, and that thing took off on YouTube. Following that, none of his videos posted to YouTube really took off, well not just yet. Next up, it was Finer Things that really put his name on the map, and this song, it blew up with nearly 100 million views on YouTube at the time of this recording. Now in October of 2018, Will Polo G, he signed a deal with Columbia Records, and currently he is living in the hidden hills of Calabasas. Polo, alongside Lil TJ, well they blew up together off their track Pop Out. And among all the success, well in 2019, that's when he nearly lost his life. Back in that time, doing drugs was so regular for me, it's like I damn near needed that to function throughout my day. On August 12th, we always have a party for one of my childhood friends who passed away. I'm doing the Xanax all throughout the day and I done pop so many that I'm forgetting that I'm doing them. In that documentary titled The Goat, well he talks about how he almost lost his life, which was due to an overdose of both alcohol and prescription pills. Now he was partying in and around August 11th and uh, well he posted a photo to Instagram the following day which read, I got a little too lit last night and woke up in an emergency room, almost lost my life. My pops made sure I was straight and back on my square on Gucci. I take that for granted, love that man to death. 
Will you just say thank God that didn't take his life? Then we dropped his second studio album, The Goat, which if you think he's being cocky about, well, the name's actually a tip of the hat to his horoscope sign. I'm guessing he's, uh, which one's The Goat? I don't know, it's one of them. Anyways, guys, he told XXL what's coming next, that he's hoping to get a Grammy nod and to collaborate with Drake. As for the rest of the story, well, I think we're gonna have to wait and see because this, of course, is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrenna, we make all sorts of celebrity bios here on this channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe, let me know who's next in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!